for the next 30 days, I will be embarking on this process of digitally decluttering my life. Hey pretty people, so I am about three days into my digital declutter process and you know it's still very early so I still find myself reaching for my phone looking for something to do. I downloaded Poshmark and I was scrolling and seeing what I could buy. I'm just like, girl, it's crazy. And like, I find myself looking like at the WhatsApp statuses to just keep up with something. So, I mean, it's just a testament to the fact that it's hard to break habits. It takes a while. It's, it's a process. Yeah, those are just some things I've been noticing thus far. I'm still like waking up and checking my phone, even though there's not much to check. But today I caught myself doing that and then I started reading instead. Moving forward, I want to keep my phone in another room at night so I'm really not tempted to grab it. I've been more active with my language apps, which has been fun. It's just like a little update. I will come back probably at the one week mark and update you guys then. Bye! I look like a milk dud. I think I'm at a week of my... I'm currently at the park. I'm at a park, one of my favorite parks. <gasps> the sun is coming back up! Oh my god! It's beautiful. Oh shit, okay. Um, do I have headphones in? Hello? Um, okay, I'm trying not to... Actually, I think that's mine. So I'm a week into the digital declutter process and some things I've noticed thus far. I have no inclination to re-download any of my social media apps or any other distractions on my phone such as YouTube or Pinterest or any of those things but I am definitely still, I still have the habit of reaching for my phone especially throughout the workday and I've noticed that I have resorted to going through photos checking my emails every now and then i'm trying to really just separate myself physically from my phone even though i've separated myself digitally from some of the apps i still find myself reaching for my phone depending on my phone one thing that i have been implementing is i now charge my phone in the living room so at night around like 10 ish my phone is not with me and i feel like the vibe the energy in my room has changed so much I don't feel the pressures to, yeah, to reach for my phone. I'm not thinking about the notifications or the things that I'm missing out on. I really do think changing your environment and taking distracting things out of your environment is really important. Another thing I've done is, so I said I was gonna use my phone to check the news, but I want that to be on my terms. So I turned off all of my notifications for my news apps because yeah, I just, it's, it doesn't help to wean me off of the habit of consistently grabbing my phone, so we have to cut that. One thing I want to do for the next week is, when I'm at work, leave my phone either in my bag or the car for the duration of the time that I'm at work and see how I fare. Because only grabbing the phone, it's not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give, it's not benefiting me in any way, shape, or form. Early this week, I came home and I was just feeling down, like, and I feel like maybe I'm being dramatic, but I do feel like that was the withdrawal kind of setting in, like, oh, there's nothing for me to do, like, I'm so bored since I don't have social media to distract me, so that was interesting noticing my mood, because, oh man, your girl was not in the mood on Monday. <laughs> I've been reading a lot, reading tons, like, and at work, that's something that I've replaced phone usage with. It's been good. The FOMO is not here. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. It's nice to really just separate yourself from the digital world. Like, it's so nice. Yeah, that was my week one reflections of the digital declutter. And yeah, I'm excited to see how week two pans out. I will share that with you guys, probably from a new location. And yeah. I have been wanting to read this book for months now. I don't know what was stopping me. I didn't want to pay for it, I guess. This book was $30. But, oh! Ah! Ah! No. Yeah, Jesse changed my life when I read Homegoing. So, I know this book is going to have me in my... No, this book, this book is, this is sacred. I'm, no one can borrow it. This book... Oh my god, I opened the, I was like, opening, I opened it, and the pay, oh! Yo, oh 
no. Uh, I've really become such a book nerd again. This was one of the activities that really got me through childhood. And I'm excited to read this book. Oh my god, this look at the cover. Oh, oh. This is what the digital declutter process has inspired. It has led me back to my love for books. Trying to be more intentional with the activities I do. If I'm gonna be consuming something, I'd rather it be books than think pieces on Twitter. Influencers in Jamaica doing a panty. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, I'm coming to y'all live at 8.53 p.m. Y'all will never believe what I'm about to do. I'm about to take a French class online yeah signed up for these french classes and um yeah i feel like this is one of the latest ones i've taken since i started this like course but this is a part of like i said rediscovering new habits and hobbies and like my language acquisition like i've explained is one that i'm really really dedicated to and focused on improving i am not in the greatest spirits although these courses are only an hour i just feel like they drag like i'd much rather be in bed watching my shows but we gotta stay committed yeah i'm crazy yeah i graduated and i'm still taking classes because i am a nerd okay okay i am a nerd um i just wanted to do a report of week two i will say this was an interesting week i kind of fell off i haven't downloaded any like social media apps i think i'm still doing good in terms of not using social media like having been on twitter instagram snapchat none of that even facebook i haven't used but kicking the you know using your phone just to entertain you habit it's still here i was really feeling like bad about it the fact that i hadn't kicked the habit yet but i was thinking like well this is the reality of the process like it's really hard to wean yourself off of something that you have been addicted to for a large majority of your life since there's not much on my phone to entertain myself with i started really going through my emails <laughs> looking at emails trying to see what's new what's in the inbox that seems interesting one strategy that i had was to just delete the email app off of my home screen that helped maybe for like a day and then I just started going into the search bar and searching up mail yeah I'm gonna try to be a bit more proactive about that in the upcoming week I have two weeks left of this challenge so I'm excited to see what my habits look like by the end of it I've been pretty consistent with moving my phone from my room in the evening there were a few days where I slipped up and then I'm noticing like today's a Saturday I didn't charge my phone outside of my room I woke up and the first thing I did was like open my phone and I checked my messages which is better than scrolling through Instagram for 30 minutes because at least those messages are limited. But, you know, we still want to wean off of these habits as well. I mean, in terms of, like, itching to be on social media, I really don't have it. I really have found that my Kindle has been an excellent replacement for scrolling through Twitter and Instagram. I finished another book this week. Finished a book last week. I'm killing it. I'm killing it in terms of my um, Goodreads. 2021 reading challenge i'm not bothered i don't miss the apps genuinely honestly i really love being unplugged action steps for this week to be more proactive about not charging my phone in my room out of sight out of mind i think that will really help i have noticed that my youtube consumption is a bit problematic i'll be lingering on youtube kind of looking for an interesting video to watch um, which is something that I think is kind of like my way of coping with not being on my phone. But yes, yeah, so I'm excited for week three's updates. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you all are inspired to do your own digital declutter. Whether it's a day or five days, a week, two weeks. Like I do recommend this just to anybody who is in Gen Z. But yeah, I will get back to y'all on week three. Hi guys. Um, I'm here to update you guys on, honestly, I don't know what week it is. It's the last week though, so I guess week four of my digital declutter experience. I feel no FOMO in regards to social media. This whole like really having to detach and like break free from the shackles of my smartphone it's gonna be a journey it's not just gonna be a 30-day challenge and i'm gonna be free from it but i was kind of beating myself up for still having these negative habits this is gonna be a process of trying to liberate myself 
and that's okay. Phones are a big part of our lifestyles, technology, smartphones, all of that. It's gonna take some time, so I've been du temps, but I do think that this declutter has been very necessary. I feel very zen. I really, really like being unplugged. Once you've done the digital declutter, the next step after the 30 days is to like slowly reintroduce certain applications in a more intentional way that doesn't, you know, waste all of your time. And I've really been thinking about deleting some apps like Twitter. Twitter might have to go, baby. I do still want to hold on to Instagram because I've curated my digital world in a way that really inspires me and motivates me. I like my Instagram world. I like, like I'm not really bothered by it because I've curated it so well. It really is hard to like create this boundary between real world and the digital world because they've become so infused. You have people who depend on the digital world for their incomes, which is scary to me. I appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit that has been born out of this age of like influencing but that dependency is crazy what happens when instagram shuts down <laughs> what y'all gonna do then how y'all gonna pay rent not to say that that will ever happen i don't know but well, i really have enjoyed this period i really re like i said i like being unplugged like i like being off the grid under the radar i definitely have developed some good habits that i will keep and in terms of reintroducing certain apps in the way in which i use my phone i'm gonna keep working on that i'm trying to liberate myself because i truly believe we are slaves to these devices i feel like i've consumed other mediums such as like really taking advantage of like my netflix and hulu and Spotify subscriptions because I mean Shorty's paying money for that. So with that, I don't know why these things are so heavy. Like these are hard to put on. I am going to probably sign off um, and do some skating. Okay. Hi guys. It is May 3rd. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be better about having these videos out earlier. Last clip, I was a bit confused with the dates. I kind of want to come back here and just do an overall conclusion of some things I've learned, some things I have taken away from doing this declutter process. I have my phone here with my handy dandy notes. So let's get started. This overall takeaway is hard to wean yourself off of these devices. It is so hard, it is so, so difficult. It's been, it's been about a month now since I finished that declutter process. Yeah, I mean, these habits are still lingering, but I'm still trying to make the conscious effort to do what I need to do to remove myself from this digital space. I really encourage you all to do this, but don't beat yourself up if you find that by the end of the 30 days you're still kind of relapsing in a sense because it happens it's possible uh, you got to keep going you got to keep trying to free yourself from these shackles okay i read so much during that digital declutter i recently finished transcendent kingdom this was after the digital declutter but guys yeah jesse is two for two all hits no misses highly recommend i used to really wonder how people could read like 20 books in a year but now i get it <laughs> just get off of your phone and anything is possible it's amazing what you can accomplish when you reduce your screen time yeah like i said there was no fomo um i really got into roller skating i'll insert some clips right here i am getting a lot better at it i love it it's so much fun put your headphones in get some music playing and it's such a vibe it's such a vibe i also watched some interesting things on netflix i finished Ginny in georgia i started madam secretary i started watching this excellent senegalese drama called maîtresse d'un homme marié oh my god y'all this was a really enlightening process. I'm really glad I did this. I'm really proud of myself. If you haven't done one of these yourself, highly, highly, highly recommend. Do the digital declutter process for 30 days. Read Cal Newport's book. It will... If you haven't liked, if you haven't commented, if you haven't subscribed, I need you to go ahead and do that, okay? Let me know what you guys want to see in the future from me. Bye!